Hello everyone, I am Wild Gamer and this is Wild Time. This video is about 5 unexpected carnivores. Now before I start this video, I want to say that I may have pronounced some of the names wrong. So I will write their names on the screen. Case 1. Island of Rum. Environment conditions can transform normally placid plant-eating herbivores into lethal, merciless devourers of flesh and blood. Environment conditions can force them to go against their nature. On one of Scotland's western outposts, the island of Rum in the Inner Hebrides, there are more than 300 red deer. They are the same species as those found on the Scottish mainland, but, but there is a difference. The cute, mild-mannered, gentle herbivores have acquired a murderous interest in the chicks of Manx shearwaters. There is a large population of these Manx shearwaters that nest on the ground around this island. The red deer frequently just bite off these innocent, unfortunate young birds' heads in order to chew their bones. Now the question is, why? Why is this unnatural thing happening? Investigation and Conclusion A detailed study was conducted by Glasgow University zoologist Dr. Robert Furness. His findings were reported in 1988 and the findings were very surprising. The reason for this strange and bizarre activity appears to be that Rum, which is a small island, is deficient in certain minerals, in particular calcium and phosphorus. These minerals are very important for the deer to sustain their dietary and metabolism. In other places, deer solve this problem by chewing their own shed antlers or even the bones of dead deer but on rum which is full of defenseless innocent shearwater chicks that makes very easy prey the red deer have become carnivores they kill the birds to supply themselves with the necessary minerals they require case 2 Fowler island the red deer are not the only minions the seabirds nestings of Scottish islands have to face. Following this grisly revelation on rum, Dr. Robert Furness listened to local farmers' tale and he got some shocking stories about feral sheep of Fowler Island. Fowler Island is a small tiny island at the west of the Shetland Islands. After listening stories and tales of these ships, Mr. Furness started to investigate these stories and he found some shocking things. He found that these seemingly passive creatures have also turned to the dark side. These ships also attack birds for the same reason as the red deer, to obtain the required minerals, generally phosphor. However, they do this in a different fashion. The fowler sheep attack the defenseless, innocent chicks of nesting arctic terns and even some squaw fledglings. But instead of biting the birds heads off, they sever the wings and legs to chew on, leaving the innocent chicks alive but fatally mutilated. Case 3 Coquet Island after the revelation of Britain's gruesome saga of carnivorous herbivores, Durham University geologists Dr. James Robinson and Dr. Keith Hammer announced during 1999 that the same scenario was occurring on the island of Coquet in Northumberland. Here, however, the carnivorous culprits were even more innocuous than the deer and sheep. This time, they were rabbits. 
as on Fola, Arctic tern chicks were discovered with their legs severed and sometimes wings too. The only creature that inhabit the island and would be capable of inflicting such injuries are rabbits. And after seeing the previous cases, the geologists assumed that as with the deer and sheep, they were resorting to these extreme measures in order to supplement their intake of minerals. Case 4. Wolf Island Known aptly as the sharp-billed ground finch, this species is normally a seed eater, but on Wolf Island, it has acquired a taste for blood. This was first uncovered in 1964 while studying nesting boobies on Wolf Island in the Galapagos Archipelago by ornithologists Dr. Robert J. Bowman and Dr. Stephen L. Billen. They were amazed to observe small finches surreptitiously pecking at new feathers on the tails of molting boobies and then drinking the blood that seeped from the wounds created by their pointed beak. In 1982, naturalists Friedman and Hayde Koster had successfully filmed these finches' bloodthirsty activities. But during their return visit in 1983, they happened to prick themselves on some cactus spines while working. As soon as the sharp big finches discovered this, they flew up to them, alighted on their arms and legs and began pecking their flesh as they eagerly attempted to drink the blood oozing from the wounds created by both the cacti and their own sharp beaks. It must have looked like a scene from Alfred Hitchcock's film The Birds. Case 5 Patagonian Coast in October 2000, reports emerged from Argentina that flocks of gulls were habitually attacking migrating whales swimming off the Patagonian coast. The gulls were seen dive bombing the whales and tearing chunks of flesh from their backs whenever the whales surfaced for air. Dr. Roger Payne, an American whale expert, stated that this opportunistic feeding behavior could be so distressing for the whales, up to 2,500 of which migrate here to breed each year, that in future years they may avoid this region completely and journey somewhere else to breed. So this was it, 5 unexpected unnatural carnivorous animals. If you guys have liked this video, then press the like button and you can press the subscribe button too. I will do more research and will try to find more interesting informations about animals and make videos on them. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I will meet you guys in my next video. Goodbye everyone.